Hi, my name's Tom Shelton. I'm an artist based out of Rockaway, New Jersey. My process here for creating some of these little creatures and monsters back here is uh, I'm a self-taught artist, so it's a lot of uh, trial and error. I am uh, constantly on the hunt for the right piece to make one of my creations out of. If I go to flea markets, yard sales, eBay, and now family members know that I'm making this art and they're dumping me with all their garbage. Usually when I'm at a yard sale, like, nah, it could be a little awkward because I'm always like flipping teapots upside down and tins and people are like looking at me like, what's this guy doing? And, but in my mind, I'm trying to see if it would work for uh, a sculpture or but a lot of the process happens when I'm back in my studio. I'm a little bit of a madman in my studio, you know? It's uh, a lot of times, like, they'll actually make themselves the pieces, you know, in a way. So I'll, like, go into my basement, which is a kind of disaster right now. I'm in the process of getting it more into a studio. But I'm working upstairs in one of my spare rooms right now, and I'll just go down there and like grab a couple of crates full of just random materials and bring them up and try to see what works together. You know, I usually have like a basic body sometimes, you know, definitely using like a lot of forks for arms. The cans for the bodies I use, I'm definitely into like the older vintage cans, the older style of stuff. Just made back in like the 40s and 50s. It just, just seems like stuff was made with more pride back then. Than nowadays, everything's very like disposable society, you know, like everyone just wants to get rid of stuff right away. I'm an 80s child, so uh, big influence on a lot of 80s movies in my art. Uh, movie like Critters and Jim Henson fan. Yeah, it's all those gremlins and it's like little, I guess they're creepy, cute, dark side. I'm definitely drawn to that in my art. I feel like I'm taking it further, like my art lately. Like I'm, like if you could see like the teeth have definitely been like a new thing I've been adding onto a lot of my characters. And it's just been giving it this different look, you know, just little details I've been putting it in that been like just bringing it to a different level. That's what I'm kind of amazed by the process is like you just add like a little bit of color or like a little bit of metal teeth or some eyes and I don't know it brings the whole piece to another level. So uh, please come join me at Speakeasy Art Gallery on June 5th for the opening of uh, my show titled uh, What the Folk Art. And come out and support the arts. It's gonna be a good night.